Hi dolls! In today's video, I'll show you how I turned this tall Asian BMR 1959 Barbie into a fabulous model. Collectors have reported a lot of issues with dolls in this line, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but they're all show. She does have a pixel face that could put pixel chicks out of business. And her hair is choppy, but I like a challenge. I started by removing the hair barrettes and elastic bands. Her hair color and length were just what I wanted, minus the blonde streaks. So I heated up her head and carefully ripped out the blonde streaks. Then I transplanted some plugs from the back of her head to the front. and replace them with some similar hair. I fixed her parting and boil washed her. I then removed her paint job with pure acetone. Now, the reason she already has the base of the eyes painted on is because I did it off camera, obviously, and I wanted to concentrate on getting them even, filming just wasn't an option. This may sound like a joke, but I can assure you that the eyes alone probably took about two hours to get right, and we're only talking about the base here. The first layer I went in with chalk pastels to give her face a bit of dimension, but you'll see that later on in the reveal most of it is gone. This is because I'm not a big fan of extreme contour and by the third layer she was getting muddy, so I erased everything but her eyes and gave her a more subtle contour in the end. You'll see me do this quite a lot because I tend to think about what people will consider professional instead of what I want to do and how I want to make my creations look. But in the end I always go back to my ideas, which is probably why my videos flop <laughs> and people only want restoration videos out of me. I laid down the base of the eyes and eyebrows with a brown pencil, then I went in with white to highlight. After spraying her with MSC, I started working on the pupils of the eyes. I went with a nice grey blue and gave her a side glance. If you're wondering, yes, most of my dolls will have a side glance. This is simply because with forward facing eyes you run the risk of making a face appear too alert. And I want my dolls to look demure and kind of standoffish. Before sealing, I went in with chalk pastels to smoke her eyeshadow out.
On this layer, I mostly intensified the pigment and sharpened the lines, as well as correcting the few mistakes that I've happened to make in the previous layers. And finally, in the last layer is where everything is at the level of intensity it's supposed to be, and I can go in with acrylic paint. After adding white acrylic to prime the base, I added metallic gold acrylic paint to the inner corners, mostly to balance out the heavy, dark eye. Now onto her lipstick. I initially gave her rosy pink lips, but by the next day I went back, erased it, and went in with a deeper nude tone, which I think suits her more. The last step in the face-off process is glossing her eyes and lips, which I find pulls everything together and makes the doll look printed instead of drawn. Moving on to her outfit. I use some handmade patterns to cut out a jacket for her. I use the stiff black poly cotton. I am by no means a sewer, so please bear that in mind. Next, I gave her a waist training corset, which is just a hemmed piece of fabric with side darts onto which I've added some bra hooks and elastic straps. And these are all the pieces that make the outfit. One thing I cannot stand about the new Barbies is how they make the hands, so I took some scissors and cut her fingers apart to give her a more realistic look. Then I cleaned everything with a sharp knife. For her earrings, I cut these pins in half and stuck them into her ears. I then gave her two rings by bending some pliable metal wire and fitting it onto her fingers. This helps add some distance between the fingers too. I then added strip eyelashes to make her eyes more dimensional. And that is it you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like this video and leave a comment down below telling me what you think. Thank you for following me and I'll see you guys in my next video.